Hello guys, today we'll be learning about the order of operations. So, uh, the order of operations is just the one simple word, hemdas. It's not really a word, but it's a couple letters combined. So, each letter stands for this operation. P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, M stands for multiplication, D for division, A addition, S for subtraction. So today we'll be learning how to do the order of operations and like how we use them in problems. Alright, so right now I'm going to give you an example. Here's an example. So, to do the order of operations, we know M does. The P comes through. We're not using exponents right now, so we'll just mark that off. So, P stands for parentheses. So, there are parentheses right here. So we start with the uh, problems in the parentheses. So after parentheses comes multiplication. Is there any multiplication in here? No. There is division? No. Addition? Yes, there is addition. So 10 plus 3 would equal 13. Also keep in mind, you have to keep the parentheses in here on, around the problem until you uh, get the answer for the equation to end up. So also you yeah, always have to like, write the problem out. So 13 minus 6, as we all know, is and 7. And then we take the parentheses away because we don't need them anymore because we already did the problem with 15. This equals 7. So that by 7 is 2. So now we go through the parentheses again. There's no more parentheses. No multiplication. There is division right here, so we do it. Seven divided by seven equals one plus two. So now one plus two. Simple fact. Obviously, three. So our final answer is three. So we go to our next problem. That means we marked it off done. Just erase it. All right, so now I'm gonna give you another example right here. So this one is a bit more challenging because it has more parentheses. Or actually, these aren't really parentheses, but they're like grouping symbols. Yeah, more really grouping symbols. So you can do this instead of a P. You can do it like a G something. All right, so now we start with the inner parentheses. You see the inner grouping symbol. So that's one, two, one, right? And this this one's a different one. So this one is a different one than that one. So that one is the same as this one. So we start with one in between. So eight plus two equals ten. We add the grouping symbol. Minus 
eight. And then oh well. And so now we do the ten my kids because in it. Oh don't forget the ten most important thing. So that's two. Mm. Mm. I keep on doing the parentheses for some reason. Okay, so minus ten. Okay, right, now we do this, and then we do multiply by two. So for instance, ten minus two equal eight, and then we bring the two down times two. Eight times two, simple snap fat. I'll give you five seconds to figure it out. All right, figured it out? Yeah, 16, obviously. So our answer would be 16. All right, thank you for watching the video. Goodbye.